miss anything i'd like to say thank you guys for watching my videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe and subscribe to my channel also any products used throughout the video will be linked in the description box below other than that this is just the intro and a little show off of the nails yes yeah, so let's get into it okay y'all so we're back with another video this is kind of like a caveat to the last video when i tried this design that was with acrylic now i'm doing it with poly gel so yeah um this time i actually left these naked so i can show you how i apply the um the foil papers so yeah let's let's go ahead and dive into that right now so i use the beetles nail art foil glue this is uv and led it's very important depending on what type of lamp you have so it works for both so that's very good to get so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna put them on the nails okay get my handy dandy nail lamp out and yeah i'm just gonna put it mostly on the tip because that's where i want it to be at and then mostly on the tip and I'm just gonna cure that for 60 seconds okay so I went ahead and cured these and I know I said 60 seconds I actually meant 30 so I cured both of these nails for 30 seconds FYI if you do try this design nail it is when you um do this it is gonna give kind of like a light burning sensation it's n it's not really causing any issue that's just the effect of the foil glue the best way to kind of stop that is to kind of wiggle the fingers and it kind of helped to make it not burn so this is the foil i'm using it's a nice pretty foil i've already used it this part so i like to kind of keep a continue on so i take this part where i ended the last one put it on the corner Flip it over like that. Then you just want to smooth it on, baby. Smooth it on. And you want to smooth it everywhere you put that. I mean, you can get one of those rubber tools and do it like this. But, I mean, it's free to use your fingers. You ain't got to buy them extra tools. Then once you got it all smoothed off, and then bam, you take it off. Bam. See that? And I'm just going to do this for the thumb real quick. Bring that design over. While that stopped it, put the line and bring it over. And bam. You just want to smooth it. You want to make sure you're smoothing it for like about 10 seconds so that it actually sticks. Because if you take it off too fast, it'll look crazy. So I smoothed it for 10 seconds, and then bam. You see that? And that's just part of it. And that's the hard part. Boy, I lie. That's the easy part. So now I'm going to use this nail, extent stick, ah, nail extension gel. This is in dark pink. Um, It doesn't come in this number. I just have them numbered because I have swatches that I use for clients. This is the beetle gel. I really love this. This is um this is very thick. This isn't like hard gel. Um I love this gel to be honest because it has a nice viscosity to it, which is a nice little thickness. So I'm just going to get a little bead like that and smash it on there. See that? Bam. And now I'm going to use this this is the Beatles Slip Solution. This is the Poly Nail Gel Liquid. This is what you use so that your stuff don't be sticking. I'm just going to use this card here. Add a little on the card. You see how it ain't going nowhere. This stuff is thick. It don't move unless you move it. And one thing I like about it is that it is very, very thick. And this is just a... a um, just a gel brush that I use. This is by Swabiland because I do have um, some Swabiland gel too. But pretty much you're just going to dip into that solution. And you're just going to kind of manipulate it. 
Make sure you kind of push it slightly into the cuticle. You don't want to push it too much. So kind of push it into the cuticle a little. And then pat it down to the sides. Pat it down to the sides. Or you can just kind of drag it down. And then this part, I just kind of feather it down and then blend it into the nail. And this part, you're going to have to kind of go backwards and forwards because you just want to make sure your apex. Your apex looks nice. You want to make sure that you are wetting the brush periodically because it does help to kind of keep it slippy. Yeah. If you watch my first gel application, then you'll see how it is. Also, if you want to know, see how I like put on gel, like the nail tips that I use for this. I also have a video for that as well. You can check that out. But yeah, bam. So you see how the apex, it has that little hump right there. That is what you want. So you just want to kind of get that natural hump. That's just going to give you support right there in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the thumb as well. So I can just kind of do the clear at the same time. I'm glad I did redo this design though. I'm not going to lie to you. Because yeah. I'm so glad I redid it. Because it's most definitely worth the effort of what I went through to get to this point. So yeah. I'm so proud of myself. So so proud of myself. So I'm just going to smooth this out push it into the cuticle you don't want to push it too far in the cuticle you want you want it kind of lay where it needs to lay push it down the sides you know same old same old and then blend it down bam Right. If you feel the brush kind of sticking, you most definitely want to make sure you hit it with a little of that solution. A little of the solution does go a long way, though. No lie. So, yeah. Now that we kind of got that apex where I want it to be at, make sure you clean the sides if it droops. Yeah. Now that we kind of got that pink laid up in there, we're going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds until it's hard. And then we're going to come back and do the cure, the, the clear, okay? Okay. Alright, so I went ahead and cured it for the 60 seconds. I kind of went over this one before I cured it just so I can kind of, just so I can get it more of like that apex where I want it to be. Now we're going to go in with the same, this is the same brand, this is just in clear. And, y'all, yeah, I'm just going to take that. Just going to take that. It's a little drippy, so I just kind of get it on there the best I can. Put just a decent size bead, about that much right there. Dip into this. Then yeah, I'm going to kind of blend this into like the middle part right here. Let me bring this back. So blend this back because you want it to all be blended. Then I'm just going to kind of drag it down because we're just kind of encapsulating this beautiful foil. So I'm just bringing it on down. And as you bring it down, it is going to kind of fit itself out. You want to make sure that you are patting the sides so that you're keeping that shape. And then, bam. That's that. And then you take off any access if there is any. Which usually I'm kind of pretty good at this and not having access products. But you know, it happens to the best of us. But yeah. Make sure you keep the shapes. You don't want it overflowing the sides because that's not cute. 
Damn, and that's how you do that. And yeah, I did it on my thumb. I'm just gonna do this nail as well. Well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do this real quick. This is a pretty quick process. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bead here. Dip into my solution. Kind of push this back so that it's blended into the pink. And then that's when we're gonna start bringing this down. Right, and as you bring it down, it is going to kind of thin itself out. So it might look like a lot at first, but it's slowly going to get down to where it needs to be. Any access to kind of drip off the edge like that, you just take it off, wipe it on your whatever you have. I mean, you can also put this solution kind of like in a dampen dish as well, but I mean, this you don't have to do that to be honest some solutions are like um this solution it is very what's the word it does have a little thickness to it right so it's most definitely a little more thick but bam you see how quick that was yeah i'm just gonna kind of come back over here Yeah, we're just kind of, now that we kind of got this where we want it, I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. We're going to come back and finish the design, okay? Okay, let's get into it. All right, so I went ahead and I cured these. Um, With this type of gel, it is going to have an inhibition layer, so the top layer is going to be very sticky. But don't worry about that. Now what we're going to do is, first things first, when you're filing the nails, whether you're doing an e-file or not, always wear a mask because gel powder is a, gel is a lot more finer when you file it. This is a 180-100 grit. I'm going to be using the 180 side. So we're just going to, yeah, just kind of start... Giving my shape together. I'm just filing it down. The light work out of this, you know. You want to make sure you kind of buff the sides because. You want to make it rounded and you don't want it to be like just have a square flat edge to it. So pretty much what I'm doing is just defining I'm just defining the coffin shape. I like making sure it matches the other one, which is that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and file the rest of these and then I'm gonna also buff them with my nail block buffer. I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna come back and we're gonna get into the gold trim, okay? So y'all go ahead, we'll get right back into it, okay? Okay. So now I done went ahead and filed, buff, and washed my hands. So we're all ready to go. Um, I don't know if I answered this earlier. But as far as for this brush, um, this brush is pretty easy to clean. You just use a little acetone, wipe it off, spray it with a little alcohol, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to clean, period. So now we're just going to kind of get into the design of it. So I'm going to use the Moldaline Gel Art Liner. This is in a pretty gold color. So yeah, we're just going to line the outside of the nails. Yeah, let's get into it. I love doing this part. This liner is pretty pigment, so I do love that about it. So, I like to start from the outside. Damn. Yeah, this design isn't really that complicated. 
It's a really fast design. I mean, it's a little longer for myself because I am kind of doing it in a tutorial style instead of just doing it. But yeah, I think I might do kind of like silent videos. I don't know. So, bam. Just want to line it like that, like so. You want to kind of be a little like do a little at a time with this liner because this liner does get too thick and that's what you don't want I mean yeah you want the color to show but kind of build it up in a way and it'll get that potency you want usually if you put too much liner it's going to give you kind of like a puffy top where it's kind of puffy and then when it dries down the inside will be hollow and you don't want that so pretty much that's it um i'm just gonna go ahead and line the other nails and put a top coat on and yeah we're gonna get into the end of the video okay this is a simple part okay so let's get to it all right so i went ahead and did that so i did kind of give my hands like a sugar scrub so they all nice and nice and good so i'm gonna use my cuticle cuticle oil this is in milk and honey just gonna add a little of that to my cuticles y'all know how i usually do this massage it in Gotta keep them cuticles nice and moisturized. And also, once you do this, you can also go in behind with some lotion. I just kind of rub this all over the hand. So it kind of gives the same effect. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. So that's the nails if anything um i'm gonna post a picture of these nails on my instagram page all of my social media is gonna be linked at the end of the video just give your boy a check out and yeah that's pretty much the end of the videos that's the nails came out really cute and i'm really proud of this set anything i gotta go so <laughs>